after learning difference operation now we are ready to learn another operation as I said in the previous video complement operation so uh, complement operation complement operation uh, something like this <coughs> first uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna draw a diagram a Venn diagram okay and <coughs> here I have a set A suppose just A okay now uh, this is you now if I'm saying complement of A we represent complement of A by A bar or you can give A dash or you can represent by A and in the power you can write C this all represents A complement so A complement means accept A everything accept A accept this reason accept this reason means we're not going to take elements from this region and we'll take everything uh, out of this uh, uh, region. So out of this region means this section. This all section will be taking. This means a complement. Okay. This means a complement. And if there is other sets also here, that time set suppose B, set C, or uh, set D, set D, any a, any other sets, we'll taking all the elements from those, but not from the A region. For example, I'm taking, suppose you have universal set U here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 9 only, alright, and uh, you have set A equals uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, okay, this is, your, this is your A, so here, if I want to write A complement, then I will understand A complement means all the elements out of the A, not in A. Alright? It, it is something like U minus A that time. U minus A. U means everything minus A. So this is what? Alright? So that time it should be in U but not in A. Keep in mind that time. Everything except A. So 2, I cannot write 4, I cannot write 6, I cannot write, I cannot write 8. But I can write everything else. So I will write 1, but I'm not going to write this 2. I can write 3. I cannot write this two. I already said I can. I cannot again write four. This right. I cannot write this two. I cannot write this four. I cannot write this six. I cannot write this eight. And I can write everything. So one, three, five, seven, eight, and nine. This is a complement. All right. And and uh, what will you do if there was more set like B? B was the set. Suppose five and seven. Five and seven. So it does not matter how many sets are there. I, I already said if, they, if, you, if you write more sets also, I don't care if I have to write A complement. I will just not write the elements of A and rest of this all I will write. This is what A complement means. Let me take one more example and, and then we'll jump for the next type of operation. Uh, suppose uh, I have the element B, uh, no, say B, which is uh, representing uh, uh, Earth moon and sun and here my a represent say it a represent uh, moon earth and mars and uh, c i have that represents jupiter just jupiter let's suppose and i have u which represents uh, suppose sun, uh, earth, moon, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Okay, this much only. All right. And in now that case, uh, in that that case, if I want to write uh, B complement, B complement. Or you can represent by B complement. I already said. So that time, how you write this B complement? So B complement here represents all the elements out of the B. Not we are going to include these things: Earth, Moon, and uh, Sun. So here is now you just see the union, and there mark uh, where is Sun, uh, where is Earth. I mark Earth here. Where is Moon? Moon I mark here. Where is Sun? I mark here. So these three, except these three, I will write everything. So here I can write Mars. All right, I can write Jupiter. I can write Saturn. 
all right so uh, this is what a b intersection uh, b uh, b complement means all right just we're not going to write that element that uh, elements of that set and rest of this all okay it means u minus v all right u means universal set from universal set you subtract all the elements of b that is what b complement means okay catch you in the next video goodbye